hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the biomedical instrumentation and measurement so in the previous video we discussed uh, the basic concepts related to electrodes okay recording electrodes that are used for the various uh, biomedical measurements and we discussed that uh, they are divided broadly into two categories depending on the way in which they are uh, connected okay surface and deep seated electrodes and we discussed various things so in this video we are going to discuss about an important uh, concept associated with the electrode measurements and how it affects the uh, measurement uh, process so this is the electrode skin interface so we know that uh, in the biomedical measurement system for me the measurement of any uh, physiological parameter be it body temperature, blood pressure, heart rate, pulse rate, electrocardiogram, uh, electromyogram and le electroencephalogram, any signal measurement we have to use electrode. Okay, The sensor and tra or the transducer is associated with the electrode. It is connected to the specific body part either it has to be placed on the surface or inserted or pierced into the body so it comes in contact with the skin the electrode comes in contact with the skin so that gives rise to this electrode skin interface okay <clears throat> sorry so let's say this is the uh, pictorial representation of the electrode skin interface so this is the electrode this blue is the blue thing is the electrode paste or jelly which is normally used to achieve adhesion so that the contact is firm and this is the upper layer of the skin now this interface this uh, contact junction between the electrode and the skin separated by this electrode jelly paste this is altogether collectively called as the electrode skin interface now this here can be divided into two parts okay it can be discussed in two ways the electrode skin interface first one is the electrode electrolyte interface okay the contact between the electrode and the electrolyte the second one is the electrolyte skin interface this electrolyte and skin interface so we will divide our discussion in two parts so first we'll discuss this electrode electrolyte interface which is also called as the metal electrolyte interface okay so what happens at this uh, electrode electrolyte or metal electrolyte interface metal because mostly metallic electrodes are used for measurement so what happens exactly at the uh, the electro electrolyte interface or the metallic electrolyte interface so as i said the electrodes that are commonly used are mostly of metallic nature normal electrodes are made up of aluminium iron silver platinum etc so at the interface the metal electrolyte interface there is a tendency for each of these metals you know, to discharge ions okay the free ions mostly positive ions cations into the electrolyte okay and the ions in the electrolyte that are present the free ions okay the free moving ions in the electrolyte they try to combine with them <coughs> okay so let's say this is the metal electrolyte interface at this uh, interface because of this the metals they discharge positive ions into this electrolytic solution and there are also positive and negative ions themselves in the free ions in the electrolytic solution okay so when this uh, re the combination okay when this they combine the com the ions from both the metal and the electrolyte they combine with them this develops a charge layer okay a charge gradient a layer of positive charge 
with some distance separated and then we have a layer of negative charge so this you know you can say that it behaves like a <laughs> parallel plate capacitor and it gives rise to a certain voltage potential okay and this potential okay this is called this whole this whole arrangement it is called as the electrical double layer okay it is called as the electrical double layer okay now how to represent this in a you know using the the electrical in, in electrical terms how can we represent this so there are various ways of representing this electrical double layer at the metal electrolyte interface the first way of representing is this it is uh, generally represented as a voltage source okay which is the voltage associated with this charge layer which is uh, called as the e electrical double layer potential and then we have a combination of two arms one arm contains one resistor and a capacitor this capacitor is the capacitance associated with this charge layer as i said it behaves as a parallel plate capacitor and then we have the resistor now this resistance it represents the conduction properties of this uh, this uh, metal electrolyte interface okay the conditions associated with the migration of ions how easy it is for the bio signals uh, to pass through this charge layer okay the bio signals have to be picked up from the skin from the body part how easily can those signals they conduct through this charge layer to reach the electrode so that is represented by the resistance so the simplest representation if we simplify this uh, representation it will look something like this so one resistor and capacitor and we have the electrical double layer potential so again as i said this electrical double layer is represented by this voltage source in series with a parallel combination of resistance and capacitance so the capacitance represents the charge developed at the charge layer the metal electrolyte interface and resistance r represents the condition associated with the mobility of ions okay now this potential which is developed at the electrical double layer or the metal electrolyte interface it is called as the half cell potential okay now all of these half cell potentials associated mostly because it is it, it occurs the bulk of this potential happens due to this electrode okay this electrode so that's why it is also called as electrode potential okay it is also called as electrode potential so all of these measurements of half cell potential or electrode potential is uh, done with respect to a reference electrode we have uh, studied it in chemistry that uh, where the various potentials that are measured with respect to the reference electrode generally it is hydrogen absorbed in platinum black that electrode is used as the reference electrode okay so what are the various factors that affect this potential okay at the metal electrolyte interface there are various factors mostly it is what type of metal the electrode what type of metallic electrode is used what is the composition or whatever the if an alloy is used what is the composition of that alloy next is what type of electrolyte is used for uh, achieving adhesion what type of electrolyte what is the composition of that electro electrolyte what kind of ions are present in that electrolyte the mobility of those ions so all of that those things uh, contribute to the half cell potential and another thing that uh, affects this is the temperature well this uh, the the temperature has very less effect but still it has when it comes to biomedical measurements the biosignals are so low of the order of microvolt microvolt to millivolt so any small uh, thing that even causes any change to the bio potential is considered because the signal values are so low okay so that's why any small thing is taken into consideration 
So the temperature also affects the half cell potential. Now the electrode potentials of some common electrodes that are used are for aluminium the electrode potential is minus 1.66 volt for iron it is minus 0.44 volt for lead it is minus 0.12 volt hydrogen is 0 volt that's why it is the reference electrode then we have copper it is plus 0.34 volt for silver it is plus 0.8 volt and for platinum it is plus 1.2 volt okay so these are the electrode potentials of the common electrodes so if you notice here hydrogen is 0 volt and that's why it is considered as the reference electrode okay hydrogen absorbed in platinum black so these are some of the basic concepts associated with the electrode skin interface okay so this is the first uh, discussion which is the electro electrode electrolyte interface okay the, or the metal electrolyte interface in the separate video we'll discuss about the electrolyte skin interface okay so here we have discussed the basic things associated with the metal electrolyte interface starting from the electrical double layer representation and how uh, what happens at this metal electrolyte interface and the various uh, concepts associated with it so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much